another important utility is the this sample dict file okay so sample dict uh, allow you to sample the different variable okay on a particular points on a particular lines so it is a very very uh, nice way to look at the post processing let's say we want to look at either the flow become fully developed or not in the pipe okay so for that we have to extract the profile so either you go to the para view and extract the profile or while the simulation is going on you can extract very quickly and then plot with the help of the gnu plot the mm, all the profiles and everything okay so sometimes this sample utility is very very handy tool to explore certain things so let's explore this sample utility uh, very important utility okay so for that let's um, go to the area where we're going to run this particular test case okay let me open the readme file okay. so So we going to use our standard flow or a circular cylinder uh, test case. Okay. And what we going to do is following thing. So on this test case, if you see, okay. So when our flow is progressing, let's say we want to see on the line after uh, the center after the flow is passing through the circular cylinder at a let's say distance 1.5 2.5 how the velocity is vary along the y directions okay so did give us the idea either the flow is developing correctly or not okay and for that let's explore uh, this very simple utility so with the help of that we can do certain things so first let's the simulation um, start then we explore all this thing okay so let's go for renumbering of the mesh size is so we are reducing the bandwidth okay so it may give us the added benefit and we're going to use the pimple form okay so let's start the simulations okay so simulation is progressing okay now let's say we want to check uh, first let me go to the para form okay so para form and get nations okay so simulation is just started okay fine so now let's say we want to extract the certain data over a particular lines okay so how are you going to do that without going towards the para form so for that this is a very very nice utility so that is available here so sample dict is the its dictionary file okay so we have certain uh, options available so here we have a different uh, format available okay so like row data okay and all this for uh, different entry if you want to explore about this then let's go to the uh, user manual okay and is your manual you will see couple of few nice understanding about this particular utility so for that we have to go to page number 184 okay so 184 tell us about the sample data okay and for that we have a certain options available okay so if you see here we come to know different different options like interpolation point of view uh, interpolation scheme we go with the cell cell points or cell point phase so cell center value assume constant over a cell okay. linear weighted interpolation using cell values okay or mixed linear weightage for cell and phase interpolations so this is different entries as far as the interpolation is concerned like this way so cell point phase so it gives us the idea about the cell and phase interpolations okay and then uh, we have a other entry like uh, format so row format like ascii data column wise it going to give you genuploid data okay so i normally prefer this row data or the genuploid type of the data okay it is very very handy way to look at the things then you have a surface format so when we want to extract the surface it give us in the vtk 
or row or stl way so either you uh, there is a multiple ways you can even extract entire surface as well okay so we're going to explore that also or you can extract over a line both the things possible then the fields then sets either go with the uh, 1d then it goes as a sets or surface go as a two-dimensional entity so this few options is available okay so let's look at here so we here we are going towards the simple extraction as a line extraction so interpolation is cell to face interpolations our field variable u and p and this is the uh, lines that we're going to use like we have a line number one uh, midpoint and faced uh, is the type okay and uh, how it going to work is something like this way over a this particular line okay that means we specify the axis and with that we specify the two points start point and the end point so look we are working with the x axis so we have plus and minus 0.8 and x is the 1.5 and z equal to 0 same way another line 2.5 then 5 okay so like that way we constructed the multiple lines okay now if you look at here different different uh, entries is available okay in this so uh, please read this very uh, two page sections and you come to know uh, different different class of the things with the help of this so here you have a few things base point you specify then normal vector you specified okay for, sorry uh, for this sets so uh, uh, axis we have to specify xyz axis okay then you we have to specify start to end point you can also specify the number of sampling point so uh, that is another uh, entry you can keep inside this particular file here we are not uh, specifying that entry okay like this way you can specify the number of point uh, entry as well okay then at that point of time we have to say uniform and uniform and number of point goes together okay so that is the how one can specify that part okay so this is what is here uniform uniformly distributed point over a line okay F uh, face intersection of specified line and the cell face midpoint mid between line face intersections okay midpoint and face combined nation of midpoint and the face core specified point tracked along a core or a cloud specify the entire cloud of the points okay so when you specifying the uh, uniform along with that you specify the number of sampling point or you can go with this uh, midpoint and face combination of midpoint and the face okay so like that way uh, you can uh, choose any of the sampling type and here is the its requirement when you go with this you need not to specify the n number of points okay or the points but when you go with the uniform you have to specify this number of points and all the entries so here we are using different ways so that's why we not give any number of points but if you want to give number of points then you go with the uniform that means whatever the line we constructing minus 8 to 8 you try to distribute uniformly 24 points okay so this is its resolution so based on that you can extract the particular data okay so now let's say simulation is progressing and we want to uh, do the sampling of it okay so for this let's use the sample minus dicks is the dictionary from where you can find out and this is the time so i am going to utilize this particular command and i am going with the time equal to let's say 20 okay so for 20 time it try to extract this particular information and where their information go after extraction that information goes towards post processing area there is a set inside that 20 and here is the entire all the files so look we specified what we specified in this we specified the u and p both going to extract on line 1 2 and 3 so same thing you can see for line 1 pressure information line 2 sorry line 1 velocity information same way all these thing if you go here you can see uh, this is m the minus 8 till plus 8 it vary okay and then here it's value x y and z component okay so like that way you can see same way in the pressure you can see it's vary from minus 8 to plus 8 and this is its pressure value along that particular line okay so now let's say we want to see 
this particular line then we going to use profile one of the script file I gave you here okay so let me open that script file so it give you the idea so this is the script file okay so here is the script file but look here now we have a set directory name is 20 so uh, if you post process at the 20 you have to modify this name to 20 okay otherwise it's not going to work okay so in which directory you have and based on that you have to rename this particular script okay if you are ready then can you plots and that script file so look this is how the profile is look like okay so we have a x equal to 1.5 2.5 so this is exactly which distance so let me show you from the para form so so we constructed the lines that is away from this uh, cylinder 1.5 plus and minus 0.8 what it mean it mean we have a total domain is minus 8 to plus 8 so at a 0 0.5 we constructing line sorry 1.5 2.5 and 5 we are developing the line and over that line we are seeing that particular profile okay so let's now go to extract the data at a latest time so latest time that means 48.7 so now we have a new name so we have to replace this to 48.5 sorry 7 so 20 is replaced by 48.7 okay and then you can see the genu plot with the profile okay so look now almost it's not a symmetric so that means the vertex shading is about to start okay so asymmetry is appear in the previous case it's still symmetric so that means the flow physics it's symmetric that means vertex shading is not started yet okay so this is the very very nice utility with the help of that you can extract the data over a, any of the lines so for that what is required is very very simple thing you have to specify the axis and the start and end point and the variables okay and the interpolation method okay so with the help of that you can quickly construct the line in entire of your domain and check how the simulation is progressing or you can utilize this utility to compare your data with the available experimental data as well okay so this is a uh, very very nice utility i suggest try to explore this utility with the help of the different different uh, your tutorials okay